I'm the coach. You're locked into the NFL on EA Sports. Coming up, we'll see Big Ben, Ben Roethlisberger, and the Pittsburgh Steelers as they take on last year's number one overall pick, Baker May. And coach, we come at you from the shores of Lake Erie. EA Sports has the coverage of the NFL from First Energy Stadium here in Cleveland, Ohio. Today, it's an AFC North matchup between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Cleveland Browns. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. The Browns heading out, and the pressure squarely on the shoulders of number six in his second season now with the Browns. The number one overall pick in 2018, Baker Mayfield. here on first down well, he's going to take a shot right away and that is incomplete showed off the arm strength there but to no avail second down and a look now at the starting offense for the Browns and the focus will definitely be on wide receiver Odell Beckham Jr. after the trade from the New York Giants to the Cleveland Browns how will he mesh with his new quarterback Baker Mayfield and can they be the duo that leads Cleveland to the playoffs for the first time since 2002? Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. To throw, Mayfield. Looking left side, that's caught by Landry. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 11 yards there, first down. Well, they obviously read man coverage there, partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him what think. What do you mean by that? Yeah, he made him think he was going to run a different route. Probably thought he was going to take it upfield. Then he curls back inside for the completion. Here's Mayfield. Buying, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Cameron Hayward attacking off the edge that time. You never want to give up a sack. From the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it, but it's really, really difficult. You're talking about some terrific athletes who are trying to put him on the ground. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. Mayfield to throw it over the middle and into the hands of his receiver Landry. And he's upended at the 33 following a good pickup of eight. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. And the Steelers now in the nickel here on third down. From the gun, Mayfield. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. On fourth down, the Browns hand things over to the veteran Britton Colquitt to punt. Back deep for the Steelers, Ryan Switzer. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. Out comes the 37-year-old Ben Roethlisberger, ready to lead the Steelers. And he led the entire NFL in passing yards in 2018, the second time that he's owned that honor. Ready? 
Big Ben and the Steelers with a first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. This is a guy who made a Pro Bowl in his second season, James Conner. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. That good for 22 and a first down. Boy, the offensive line there, that was a thing of beauty to watch them block. I love how you give a little appreciation for those big guys up front and well-deserved. But how about the execution behind them? You can see the hours of practice that have gone into it. Great pocket by the running back. Quarterback puts it right in the perfect spot. Great mesh point by them. The timing on point. The run even better. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Right back to Connor here on first. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. And let's take a look at the Steeler offense. And now the spotlight falls on wide receiver Juju Smith-Schuster because with the acrimonious departure of Antonio Brown to Oakland and Le'Veon Bell moving on to the New York Jets, he is truly the number one target for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Out of the gun, it's Roethlisberger. Looking sideline, incomplete. He was looking for Dante Moncrief that time. And it's third down. And here's the starting crew defensively for Cleveland. When you're the number one overall pick in the NFL draft of 2017, puts a little extra scrutiny. Defensive end Miles Garrett is certainly used to it. In 2018, came into his own his second year in the league with 13 and a half sacks and really expects to increase that total in years to come. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. And he's got Moncrief. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. The Steelers picking up 15 yards there at a first down. Well, from their point of view, this game could not be starting out much better, could it? Force a punt on defense, and now they're moving it crisply on offense. Crisply, I like that. Like yeah, that? yeah, moving it very, very well. Looks like the defense on their heels a little bit. You put a score in here, long way to go, but you're right. That's a heck of a start. Yeah, and I think this is where the play caller is looking at his play sheet and saying, go, go. Do I have that play. dagger play? Do I have that play and just finish him off right now? Because I think they'd love to gain that big advantage early. On first and 10 is counter. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling, and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. To the right side and complete to Washington. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. Four yards the pick up, first down. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now Ben going to give this one to Connor. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards. Back to the 33.
Welcome back in, everyone, to EA Sports coverage of the NFL. It's the Ravens in possession of the football as we rejoin the action in the first quarter. Jackson fakes the give and keeps it. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. So they lost yardage and they declined the penalty. There's no logical reasoning to do that. I'm trying to go through this little Rolodex in, in this small brain of mine, and I'm coming up with nothing, partner. <laughs> I've got zip on that one. Take the yardage, right? Take the penalty. I, I don't get it. I, I don't get it either. Very good starting field position for the Jaguars offense as they come up first and ten. Out to Cole on the right side. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. A good pickup there. Eight yards on the first down completion. He missed on his first three passes, was 0 for 3. Now gets a connection. Maybe that'll get him going. Yeah, it wasn't a time for panic, but there was some concern because once you start in a certain pattern, you're wondering, can you get out of it? And that flips the other way, too, when you're throwing it really well. In this case, now he's got his first completion. They think he might be off to the races. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. The running back, Leonard Fournette, his intended receiver, and it's third and short. Before the game, they were running the route tree about as efficiently and effectively as we could have possibly imagined, but sometimes the passes just go awry. Yeah, let's face it. When you're running the route tree in pregame, you don't have defenders breathing down your neck. You don't have defensive backs making plays on the football. Hard to replicate the intensity of the game in pregame. It'll be called a gain of two, and that'll leave them with some options here on fourth and inches. I'll bet they thought they had picked that one up because it was a third and two call, and they got awfully close. Now we're at fourth and inches. I wonder if they think they're feeling lucky here <laughs> and maybe want to go pick it up. On fourth down, on is Logan Cook to punt. Cyrus Jones back to return for the Ravens. Now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. That opening drive ended with the INT. It didn't lead to points, but still not the way they were hoping to begin the game. But how about going and telling your defense, thank you, a huge thank you. You said it didn't lead to points, stalled off that drive. Now they've got a chance to redeem themselves and maybe reward their defense a little bit by putting some points on the board on this one. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 18. They'll run with Ingram here to begin the drive. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Then he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, 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 and what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. On second down, here's Jackson to Boyle here over the middle. And down he'll go at the 25. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. The second down completion got him seven. Now here's third and three. They'll fake the give to Ingram. Now Jackson sliding out of the pocket. He may try and run for this. Jackson always a threat to run. He's got the first down. He was the NFL's leading rusher among QBs a year ago. 
when they watch film of this game and hand out the grade sheets, he's going to really like getting a double plus on this play. Why? He scrambles and picks up a first down. But what else does he do? Protects himself by sliding and avoiding the big hit. Double plus, big time play. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. On the counter, Ingram. And now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Defensively, though, they had a chance there to hit him for a loss. Couldn't get it done. Looked like someone was able to knife into the backfield, but he wasn't able to get him down. But his compatriots, they were able to grab him at the line of scrimmage and not let him get any further downfield. They run from the pistol with Ingram. And he'll get this only up to about the 35. We're scoreless after one. Ready for the second quarter, and it's our visitors with the football. They're staring up at a third and nine to start it out. from the shotgun and he's got Sneed and he'll get this way down into Jacksonville territory they're able to convert on third down and that sets up a first and goal excellent execution and now they're set up nicely are they ever red zone I wonder what the next play call is going to be because after a big play like that a lot of teams like to use the momentum to launch another one First red zone chance now for the Ravens. They've got it first and goal at the six. They'll run here with Ingram. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Well, it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And yeah, now they're looking for the big boys to get him in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It'll be interesting to see. Offensive lines had to pass block a lot on this drive. Will they be able to revert and fire out and create some space in the run game? And again, it's Ingram. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. In search of eight yards on third down, they've already converted two of these on this drive, two for two. From the gun, it's Jackson. And he is caught at the seven-yard line. And here he'll get it down to the seven. A great job to hold him to just a yard there. Now it's fourth and goal. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. A reminder coming up at halftime, we'll check in with our Jonathan Coachman. He'll have highlights and analysis of the first half, and our highlights will likely be on the defensive.